What is the stupidest reason someone got mad at you? My ex got mad, yelling, followed by a weekend's worth of sulking silent treatment, during a road trip because I didn't know where the movie theater was or how to get there in the city we stopped in for the night, a city in which I had never been, this was years ago, before smartphones and GPS existed. Both my family and my in-laws are mad at me because I don't regularly spank my kids. I've gotten into several arguments over it. My aunt who co-raised me won't speak to me until I let her spank my kids when she babysits. It's a hill I never thought people would die on. This is a funny story. I was out drinking and someone bought some watermelon flavored shots. I declined because I don't like watermelon, and this one asshole of the group made a big deal with it. Oh how can you not like watermelon? I don't fck with people who don't like watermelon. You need to leave right now because we don't fck with you. I didn't know this person very well but she apparently did this a lot, over exaggerating everything anyone says. That's when everyone told her to shut up and went in on her, telling her how they hated hanging out with her because she always had to make everything uncomfortable and start unnecessary beef with people. She got mad and left. Don't feel bad for her. She bullied quite a lot of people for no reason as well. Like in the first few weeks of working in Walmart's produce section I worked morning shift alone because everyone else called in sick the CEO manager over our section kept on getting pissed of that I couldn't call through the entire department, fill the floor, dull stack our entire truck load for the day, mark down all bad produce, and take it out along with trash and have the back room cleaned by their time limit which was 11 o'clock a.m. first I was still learning second I'm not as fast as everyone else in the department third all of that got done by like four people every morning on which three of them got in either 5 or 6 a.m. while I usually was scheduled to show up at 9 a.m. which only gave me two hours to do all of it by myself when I was like 9 I picked up a hot chainsaw to move it for my dad. Didn't know the muffler was on one side and you should carry it with that facing away from your leg. It burned me bad enough to form a blister. I dropped it onto soft pine needle covered ground from like 16 inches. Got yelled at for dropping the chainsaw. Very little concern for the rather significant burn. I'm 42 now. It's stuck with me for a while now. I used to work in a toy store when I was a teenager and there was this crazy lady who would come in once a week to yell at me because we didn't have any Chucky dolls, from the stupid movie where he comes to life and is evil. At the time, no one had them, because no one made them, something I informed her of every week. I know they make them now so I hope she's happy. I don't even remember what it was about. But my mom got angry at me for something, I didn't understand her, verbally and comprehensibly, asked her what did you say and she got super angry and lashed out at me, never understood her reaction, it left me confused until today, and she of course doesn't even remember it. My aunt. When one person in the family pisses her off. She gets mad at everyone, she won't talk to anyone even her grandchildren. Not long ago her middle son said something that got her mad. She refused to talk to his children for three months. This past week she got angry at her husband and now will not talk to any of the family who lives nearby. She will talk to others in different towns but no one local. My folks got mad because we missed our flight and arrived home a couple of hours later than we were meant to, meaning that they had to spend an extra couple hours with their grandkids. The old man got aggressive, like in my face aggressive, yelling and screaming in front of the kids, 2 yo and 5 yo, told me that I had ruined his life for the last 40 years, 36, among other things told him if that was the case we would no longer be part of their life, put the kids in the car and drove home. That was a year ago, haven't heard from them since, and we live in the same city, 20 minutes drive away. Also, 
my sister stopped all contact with us the next day, lives three blocks away, and goes to the same gym classes as my wife, Goo family. I was in fourth grade we were using laptops and I had some extension where a little master would pop up and you had to click it. The teacher went to the front of the class to give an announcement and I was trying to close the extension. He yelled at me for being disrespectful and rude. I mean I get why he would think that but he jumped to conclusions way too fast. In middle school one of my friends asked a guy who he'd rather go out with, her or me. Assuming he'd say her in a weird attempt to embarrass me so she could feel better about herself. I just stood there wondering why she'd put the guy on the spot like that, and he said he'd rather go out with me. I just kinda shrugged and walked away, but she was mad for two weeks because he said me. I used to work in a toy store when I was a teenager and there was this crazy lady who would come in once a week to yell at me because we didn't have any Chucky dolls, from the stupid movie where he comes to life and is evil. At the time, no one had them, because no one made them, something I informed her of every week. I know they make them now so I hope she's happy. I'll try to be as short as I can. A wannabe YouTuber guy we used to hang out with, asked my tech savant best friend to help him build his PC from scratch. My friend not only helped him choose, but went to the stores with him to pick up the parts, and straight to his house to help him build it. On the day the last part which was ordered online, this peculiar thing happened. My friend had his parents visiting from the other side of the country, which doesn't happen often. He told this guy that he has his parents at home, so he will make a short one-hour visit to just place the part and leave. I saw the text, his manners were good. Suddenly the guy replies with a wall of text saying more or less you cannot do what you want. You have been very controlling, and I don't want to cooperate with you anymore. That behavior is unacceptable, so he deletes him through Facebook, refuses to talk to him etc. But what was strange is that a while after all of a sudden he lashes out and blocks me from every social media. Well he just deleted my friend, because I sided with the enemy, and was yelling like a monkey when he saw me in a bar and I asked him what happened. I asked my friend and I learned that he was a total prick in general. He used to say things like he will do all the editing but I won't give you any credit because you will steal my spotlight. Dude didn't know shit about computers and software. He ended up uploading videos where he used the webcam because he didn't know how to set his 100 euros microphone as audio input. Of course he is 30 and still living with his parents and living off their pocket money. I have two. First, on a scuba diving trip off the coast of North Carolina to find shark, megalodon teeth. I had someone get upset I found an almost 4 inch long megalodon tooth that was almost fully intact dot 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 and the only one he found was a 2 inch partial. Second, and this happened to my now ex-wife but I was there. She had a grown ass man throw a fit over a guitar pick at a concert. We went to see Slayer on their final tour and, as they were walking off the stage, Tom Mariah was tossing guitar picks into the crowd. As he was passing us, he actually stopped in front of my wife, pointed to the banner she was holding, gave her a thumbs up, knelt down and handed her the last guitar pick. The guy next to her asked my wife if he could have it dot 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 and when she, very politely, told him no, since she collected guitar picks and is a huge Slayer fan herself, he started screaming at her. He shut up when security looked ready to intervene dot dot but as he walked away he was screaming about how he should have that pick. I was working in a medical warehouse. We made specialty equipment, but I worked on the floor of other places, very high volume places, and could build boxes that were either pre-manned, or using what we called a bod, boxes on demand, machine and break them down, in seconds. And this lady accused me of not caring because I was, so fast. I'm like, lady, I'm here to make expensive equipment, 
I help on the warehouse floor if I had downtime because I'm not good at downtime, I could have sat on my ass and done nothing, but I'm fine with physical work, and had spent enough time in warehouses to get efficient, and that was my flaw. A nurse needed to check my pulse so I sat there and let her do her thing. I guess she couldn't get a read on my pulse for some reason and immediately got angry and yelled well if you're not going to cooperate. Then stormed out. I had no clue how she thinks I purposely suppressed my pulse. I recycled some Tim Hortons coupons that they'd left laying around. I offered to just give them the $10, probably more than what they'd get off at Tim Hortons, but it wasn't the same to them. They gave me the angry-eyed silent treatment for a while. I, not to flex, have hit 1.44k subscribers on YouTube. I do editing work for my own other friends' channels. My friend was mad because the video I edited didn't help him hit 50 subscribers within only two days of posting it. Two days. Mind you I edited his video for free. Took me three days was two hours of footage. I told him if he wanted to edit his own SHT he could or he could stop whining. He chose the latter. I was looking in her direction. In my algebra class, I zone out quite often. Just kinda staring at the artwork on the class walls. After like five minutes I noticed this girl just waving at me uncomfortably, trying to get my attention, met with a rude can I help you? Confused I asked why, and she said I was staring at her. Couple weeks later my friend asked if I wanted to play CSGO after school, and I said I'd take a rain check on that cause I was finna play siege with my other homies. Apparently same girl was eavesdropping and thought I said rape check and got in my face about how rape is a serious issue and I shouldn't joke about it. Sophomore year once started smoking a lot more weed and fell into a different friend group, which the same girl was also a part of apparently. Me and my friend had been smoking all day, and during lunch I got a cup of ramen, and was just chilling around my homies when this girl walked up and asked why I was there. As I always made her uncomfortable and gave her creepy vibes. I just wanted to eat my ramen, and not pay attention to my algebra teacher. Apparently that made me creepy. Still have no clue what that girl's name is, and quite frankly, don't care. A classmate of mine asked for her homework back that I borrowed to copy, except I didn't remember borrowing said homework. My classmate became distraught because it was due in our next class. She began to cry and was adamant that I had borrowed it. I didn't know what to do. It was then that another classmate of ours came over and asked what was wrong. After hearing the problem, he took out said homework from his backpack and returned it to her reminding her that he was the one that had borrowed it earlier. I suppose I should have been annoyed but I was just glad that she stopped crying. After some family drama forced a couple friends to move away from their rent-free home, belonged to one of their aunts, the homeowner, one of their grandpas, moved back in. When the homeowner got sick and moved back in with the aunt, I got offered the house for $120 a month. Being that I was still in my early 20s, this was an incredible deal. It was close to work, and secluded enough to appeal to my introverted self. When the friends found out about it, one of them had the audacity to say that I fucked them over. Like, bruh, I'm just trying to live. I once had this friend who made up some really stupid stuff about me then started telling all our mutual friends so that they would hate me. I know she probably only pretended to be mad at me for it to help her story seem more valid, but the really funny part about it was that I didn't even know what all of the rumors she was spreading to people were, so there were people who hated me because of things that I had no idea were even being said about me. This happened when I was in 6th grade. My ex-roommate had a full-on tantrum in the dollar store checkout line because I had bought a new shower curtain and said I would hang it up when she finished cleaning the bathroom before she moved out. She didn't think she had to clean before moving. I wasn't expecting a deep clean, 
just like. Sweep the floor, clean the toilet, wipe the toothpaste off the mirror, just tidy up. She then asked if I expected her to clean the whole house and I said I expected her room cleaned out and common areas tidied up. She could ignore my messes and I didn't mind if she didn't clean the stove or shower. But I did expect her to vacuum the carpets because she owned a cat. This led to her telling her parents I was making her suicidal by pressuring her to move out early by being pushy. I was pressuring her to start packing because she had to move out in two weeks, and withholding her damage deposit as well as forcing her to do unfair cleaning. Her parents arrived and trashed the house when she moved out. While her mom was yelling at me she mentioned things like how unfair it was that I was charging a $100 cleaning fee, still expecting her to clean, and still keeping the deposit. I wasn't charging a fee for anything and I wasn't intending to keep her deposit. I was threatened, things of mine were damaged. It was awful. The new shower curtain was lovely though. Edit, I do want to make this clear. I am not entirely the victim in this situation either. I do feel she behaved unreasonably in that specific situation but there were actions I took out of frustration that weren't very cool either. She could have done better, but I could have too. I'm only telling my side which has a bias. I am also omitting a lot of information to keep the story short and readable. This also isn't a recent event. This happened years ago. My father once got mad at me for passing in front of an ice cream frog in a store. Okay, you'll need some background to get this one. When I was 10 I was on a diet. I was an overweight kid and my parents decided to take me to a pediatrician so I could lose weight be healthier and so on. One day, my father got some business to do downtown and took me with him. We had lunch in a restaurant he liked, so he can supervise me better to see if I was following the diet, and sent me to school. It was a short walk, so I went by myself and he went his way. But it was very early to school so I went to a department store near school that had some amazing toys that we couldn't afford so I just liked to admire them in the store shelf. After a long time looking all the amazing toys, I got my way out of the store. Now, that store had ice cream frogs just in the way out, so I passed in front of the fridges in order to get out of the store. But my father also liked to go to that same store when he was downtown. Guess who I met entering the store just when I leaving? in front of the fridges? Yeah, my father. He just looked at me and said hey, these are not diet ice cream. I said I wasn't looking for ice cream, said goodbye father, and went my way. Later on that day, when I got home, my mother used to pick me up after school. My father was waiting for me, mad, really mad, like his face was red. As I entered home he started to scream gas who I found in the department store drooling in front of the ice cream fridge. Comma I tried to explain. He screamed some more how I was talking back. I was a liar, that they were just throwing money away with doctor and diet and so on and so on. All of that screaming, as loud as he could. And at that time I was crying because all of that was just really bad coincidence and couldn't prove my point. At the end I got grounded, as a bonus. This happened recently, actually. I work at restaurant, and we're kind of short staffed right now. So one of my managers, without my permission, decided to sign me up for some extra shifts on a volunteer sign up form. When I reported this to my head manager, the other manager got mad at me and called me selfish, which is ironic, considering he's the laziest motherfucker I've ever laid eyes on. I gave them a report exactly as they explained, twice, this was apparently wrong, despite them telling me to modify it this way, so I did so to the T. I then got called up for insubordination, same person couple months after asked for the fourth time on how to do a task. I showed them and asked them to take notes because and I quote this is the fourth time. I've showed you this process, would you mind taking notes? Got wrote up again because I am the boss, 
It is not for you to tell me what to do. I leave in 1.5 months, I'm the only person who knows how to do my job. He doesn't have a replacement and I've got 10 years of knowledge in me Nagan. Guess you should have started taking notes on how to do my job.